Hello again, welcome back. In this video we're going to take a look at the gameplay loop which I've been working on, uh, specifically the race and event scene. Let's go ahead and create a new character profile. And this is the introduction sequence, it's all placeholder, we get to choose where we want to go. We're going to go downtown. And that's basically going to load us into the downtown area and there's going to be an event down there that will show up on our mini map and player map and once we drive into that event we can load into that event and race scene so that we can see that it's on the mini map and we could also see it's on the player map i'm going to go ahead and drive to it now um, so i i still need to set up a few things for this um, it'll be obvious what they are Let's go ahead and drive into this. So the first thing, uh, it looks like the game's frozen now. I need to create a loading screen when you drive into the event trigger area. Um, but what it just did was load us into the level one event scene. And um, yeah, this is just basically a simple race I have set up. I, I just have one AI opponent and my main goal was to just make him drive faster and we can see that he's driving pretty fast now he's swerving and he's taking the corners a little quickly um, so I still need to play with the AI waypoints and make sure I'm giving him some better instructions and I, I think I need to set up a, a couple more overrides to to just make him behave a little bit better but at this point I feel like um, I feel like there's kind of something here. Once there's traffic on the road, it'll feel a little bit more interesting. Um, but yeah, so so I'm still missing the the waypoints on the mini map and on the player map. I want those to show up there. Um, we can see the AI opponent on the player map, which is cool, and on the mini map. Um, yeah, so I, I just need to really clean it up a little bit more, massage it, get it to a better place. At this point, I'm just going to pass up the AI racer. Try to finish this thing quickly. Um, so, so once I have this scene completely set up, I can actually start working on adding more races. But I don't want to add erases, any more races until I do a bunch more stuff. Um, and it's really kind of stuff that I I might have mentioned in some videos, but overall I'm working on the big picture and, and just putting all of the pieces that I required for the game into place. So once we finish the game, uh, or the race, you can see I, I lose control of the player vehicle and it basically just stops. We have the final standings and once the AI opponent finishes the race, his time will show up here. Um, overall, I feel good about it. Um, I thought that it would take me a little bit more time to get to this point, but but I'm actually here. I have the gameplay loop set up. I'll just go ahead and hit continue. Um, again, I needed a loading screen here as well. That way it doesn't look broken but what it's going to do now is take us back into the open world. And that's basically the full game loop. Um, just repeating that cycle with more races and some different scenarios, different characters, um, and just progressing through the world. That's the basic concept of the game. Uh, we can see that this time, let me go ahead and zoom in a little bit and move the camera or the game view. So so what we can see here is that the game progress name is now level two, option one. If, you, if you've watched the first videos, um, I described how I was gonna use a string to basically determine which events to enable when you load into the open world. And that's what that does. The first time we created the game, we were on level one, option one, because we chose the first button option. If we were to choose the second button option, we would have went to level one option two and we would have spawned in a different area of the world with a different event that doesn't exist yet um, and we can see that we're also four percent complete so once I completed a race I just added three percent 
So, so the goal would be to, to continue creating more and more events until I create a hundred percent worth of gameplay content and have unique events. Um, but, but more importantly, I, I think the priority right now is to just set up all of the missing things that I have on my list right now. So get those loading screens in. So the game looks a little bit cleaner. Um, get the arrow waypointer in so the player knows which waypoint to head to. Um, and clean up the UI a lot and also get the, the waypoints showing up on the mini map and player map. I think those are my next goals. Um, after that, I, I, I'm not sure what I'm going to do. Um, I'll probably take a step back and look at everything and see what needs to be improved. Um, just basically see what I feel about everything. Cause I've kind of just been slapping so much stuff together. It's, it's really, it's coming together so fast that I, I haven't really had time to process what I've built so far. So I'll probably do that after I finish the, the next few priorities on my list, but thanks for checking it out. Uh, I'll see you in the next video.